Happy New Year 2020! Woo! Five, four, three, two, one! Welcome, guys. Oh my god. Hey, everybody. Hope you're doing fantastic. Welcome. In the moment, this is the last sunset before leaving Vancouver indefinitely. I'm gonna miss this beautiful city. Honestly, I don't even know where to start. 2019 has been quite a roller coaster of a year. Lots of personal growth, maturation, ups and downs, that's for sure. I've seen it all this year. The incredible opportunities I was able to create for myself, the amazing friends I've made. It's really been a cool year. And if any of you were a part of that, I'm so grateful. And frankly speaking, if you're watching this video, you were a part of that because by doing so, you're supporting me. And I'm super excited for it. Well, the vision I'm hoping to bring forward for 2020. Honestly, thank you so much. I kind of carved my own path in Vancouver. It was an adventure. I learned so much. I got to see what British Columbia was all about. And I made some incredible friends living out in BC that I cherish dearly in my heart and miss so much now. But I know it's not goodbye forever and I look forward to seeing them again soon. Probably one of the main highlights for me this year was making so many new friends. You guys know who you are. The channel. Reptiliatus has grown so much in a year. We've gained 13,000 subscribers, which just blows my mind. There are 13,000 of you that have joined this community. In the last year, you guys have viewed my video content approximately 1 million 359,000 times. It was viewed 5,365,000 minutes. That's 89,416 hours. That's 3,725 days. 10.2 years of viewing time. That just blows my mind. Like, 
absolutely blows my mind. For someone like myself to like conceptualize this, it's really intense. It doesn't freak me out, but it really puts into perspective the responsibility as a video creator that I and others have in making sure that our content is meaningful, is factual. That's a huge one, factual. Yeah, we're human, we make mistakes, but the importance of this, especially now more than ever, the hobby is constantly under attack. It's so vital that the information you put out is accurate. I mean, sure, entertainment is great, but the validity of what we're sharing, because people have a certain expectation, but more importantly, they put their trust in you because of the reputation you're building for yourself on the platform. So it's so important that what you're saying is true, because if it isn't and people believe it, it can give a bad name to our hobby. And not only that, people can miscare for their animals based on the inaccurate information you gave. Sorry about my kind of muffled voice. I am kind of coming over a bit of a cold. Moving my whole collection to Ontario. That was a really fun task. Just kidding. All right guys, so now that all these enclosures are empty, we're gonna go ahead and start taking all the plants and soil out. I mean, as you can see, she is pretty angry. Oh honey, it's gonna be fine. We just need to get you in a cup. She knows what's up and she's really upset about it. So, come on. Unicorn. Oh, 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 here we go. Okay, so we got her in the cup. Now all we need to do, let me lift this like so, get her in, and then we feel good. in all i'm very happy with how things went super appreciative of the friends that helped me throughout the process okay so guys how's it going thank you so much for your help <laughs> it's so fortunate for me to have these lovely friends helping me pack and i should probably get right back to it because i feel really guilty and not doing anything while they're working hard but we're making great progress so yeah but i gotta say moving yourself across the country might i add canada's the second largest country in the world is no easy feat it's a lot of work i really wanted to document the whole process for you guys but i started to realize how much work it was and how much more time it took planning how to film it while doing it so i took little bits and pieces and i'm hoping that i can kind of fill in the blanks with dialogue so let me put it into perspective. My movers came to collect all my belongings a week before I left. That meant that all my terrariums, the exoterras, the zoo meds, you name it, all my supplies, for the most part, had to be ready on that said date, emptied, clean, etc. All my animals got moved into bins that I had to buy for that short little window to be kept in, because obviously I couldn't keep them in deli cups until we left with the exception of the tarantulas. Didn't feel good about it, but they're the one type of animal that was okay with that. So yeah, it's been a process. Moving is not for the faint of heart. It's a lot of work, but I'm very grateful that everybody arrived safe. I also need to offer a huge thanks to my friends, Justin and Renee at Mostly Just Geckos. Justin and Renee were gracious enough to help me ship my animals back to Ontario. It was a lot cheaper than me having to do it myself. And I'm really grateful for that. It could have cost me, who knows, maybe thousands of dollars. And through them, because they ship so many animals for their business through air cargo, they were able to do it quite affordably for me. So thanks so much, guys. You helped me go to the airport even. I'm so grateful. If you guys are in Western Canada or anywhere in Canada, they can ship Canada wide. They have an incredible selection of gargoyle geckos, dart frogs, crested geckos, and isopods. So definitely check out mostly just geckos. So there we are. Hello. 
and uh, yeah, I'd like to think I do a pretty good cleaning job in here. It's pretty epic. Here we are, animals, bags. Farewell, beautiful apartment. It's been good. Now, let's get to the airport. All right, guys, well, if you've seen anyone look tired, it's this guy right here. After tons of packing, we finally got on the plane. Anyways, so that's that. Once I arrived back in Ontario, it was really awesome catching up with family and friends, spending time together. It's really hard to believe I've been back in Ontario for a month already, a little over a month. Time flies, man. The craziest thing is I was not expecting things to take this long. So I have a new place. It's a wonderful basement suite. My family and I have been renovating the house and we are renovating the basement suite to make it conducive to, you know, a really nice hospitable home. A lot of things needed to change. It was just kind of old. It just really needed a revamping. We ended up tearing out one of the walls to make a living room area. Here's Johnny. There's a lot of cool things going on in this place, but the thing is we're doing it all ourselves, which is obviously very affordable, but time consuming. So the thing about this is my timeline did not match up with what I was hoping to be doing at this point. I expected to be in that place, yeah. pumping out content for you guys by now, and that is just simply not the case. Things have been taking a lot longer, there have been delays, and unfortunately, there's still a lot of work to be done before I can move my animals and myself into this new home. That makes it really tricky for me to produce content for you guys, because frankly, I don't really want to show my animals in the tubs that much. Sure, they're fine, they're healthy, but with great power comes great responsibility. As cheesy as that is, it's very accurate. The last thing I want to do is for anyone who's not following this journey is for someone to just objectively come in, watch a video and think that that's how I keep my animals without knowing the full story that like, no, they're in the tubs right now because he just moved and they're about to get moved back into their normal enclosures once they're all dressed up and done. It just doesn't look so great. The only thing I'm considering doing is a few tarantula feeding videos. I'm going to be doing that hot sauce challenge video as soon as I can. Yeah, Pekko, don't get too excited. No, I mean, low-key, it's fun. It's funny and fun. And I have a bunch of friends I want to participate too, so it'll be interesting. But yeah, I, I just, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. It's It's been a lot of work. I don't want to leave you in the dark. That's the thing here. I need to give you guys an update. I've had this really strong drive and this good flow and momentum going, and December just killed it because of how much work there has been. I mean, December was an amazing month. I got to go see a bunch of my friends in Michigan. I stayed over in Maddie and Tyler's. They were so hospitable. Thanks again, guys. That was a blast. Phone on camera. That's so cute. Phone on camera. <laughs> No, it was just like, what's happening? We had a great time, hung out together. It was a lot of fun to be there and see these friends because I hadn't seen them since Pet Fest in the summer. And uh, yeah, time flies when you're having fun, right? But anywho, I've been busy, but I'm anxiously trying to get things moving so that I can start creating great content for you guys. And I have more updates to give as like a new year update. But unfortunately, I don't think now is the time to do that in this video. But it's exciting stuff. It's serious stuff. And I'm looking forward to sharing it with you guys soon. I'm sorry this video is kind of lacking on the animal side of things. But I wanted to fill you guys in and just let you know what I've been up to and what like kind of work is going on behind the scenes here why I've been kind of distant or not posting anything. But it's coming. I hope you understand good things take time. Take care, guys. Love you all very much. See you all in another video again soon. Bye.